Habit number four for more interesting photos is to get closer. Get closer. When you get closer, here's what happens. When you get closer to your subject, it eliminates all the other distractions around those subjects or reduces them at least. So it makes it easier to see what you're taking a picture of. Also what happens and the reason that's interesting is we don't do that very often. We don't normally just lean into stuff. We normally have a, a normal safe viewing distance. Camera gives you permission to get closer. And one of the great things about getting closer uh, is again, it creates a new and interesting view of maybe an ordinary object. Um, and while you're doing that, uh, the only limit is, is a technical one, how close you can get. Every, uh, every lens, every camera has a different amount of what's called a minimum focusing distance, how close it can get before it won't focus anymore. So for example, on this, this little pine cone, as I bring it closer to the lens, uh, eventually, when I get a little bit inside of about a foot, it will no longer focus with this lens. And eventually you just get to blurry and out of focus, which is something we can't fix with software. So be aware, go back to step number three, know your camera. Know what your lenses can do as far as how close they can focus. Um, phones are great for this. Uh, they can focus down to about two to four inches. Uh, so that means you can get really, really close to your subject and that's going to reduce all the clutter visually around your subject or have a much better chance anyway. If you have a background that's busy, noisy, irritating, uh, by getting close to your subject, uh, that background may not even be present or visible. So it's a great way to take more interesting photos because you're creating a scene with a close-up that most of the time you don't normally see with just your eye. Uh, I'll show you some examples here in a minute of getting close to what happens from uh, going from basically a snapshot, just a photo everybody takes, to moving closer, closer, closer until you're as close as you can get. So that's habit number four, get closer. So this is a photo a lot of people would take. Um, it's You've got the subject, but you're not very close. And look at all the distractions. On the left, you've got the, the bark, and on the right, you've got um, the concrete and the sidewalk up at the top. So by walking closer, we start eliminating that. It's better. But now it's still a noisy photo. It's not very simple. Uh, and those are photos I like, are simple photos. So get closer and closer closer. I'm going to zoom in with my lens and get closer still. And then play around and make sure I'm still able to focus. And there's a more interesting photo. So that's a lot more interesting than this. And this. And all I did was get closer. I mentioned uh, one of the things you have to pay attention to in getting close to your subject is that every lens has a minimum focusing distance. And if you get closer than that distance, it will not be in focus. Uh, so I like to get really close to my subjects. Uh, and as you can see, this lens gets pretty close, but not super close. Uh, and when I want to get even closer, this is my magic. It's called an extension tube uh, and it, I put this between my lens and my camera and I'll show you what it lets me do in a moment. Uh, you can get macro lenses for your phones which will let you get really really close to your subject. Uh, and they're about, I don't know what macro lenses for phones cost these days, but these extension tubes for cameras are anywhere from about $40, $50 to uh, maybe $70 to $100. Um, so they're not super expensive. They turn every lens into a close focus lens and I really like using these. So here's what a extension tube lets me do. I can get really, really close. I can probably even get a little closer. How close can I get? That's the trick with up close photos. Even a little breeze messes it up. <laughs> 